Hey, Planeswalkers, Mithras here. Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Today, I got a fun deck for you. Very excited, as always, because this one is something that I've been waiting to come around full circle. Uh, and I say that because it was once a very popular style deck, and I think this person, player, may have cracked the code to find us something that... Uh, that we can run. So with that said, this is a top 300 deck today. Very excited about it and can't wait to show you. But before we get there, as always, I just want to thank you uh, for your support. You can please feel free to subscribe to the channel down over there. You can like the video if you like it. You can also like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Twitch to stay up to date on content like this. So what is this deck? What's kind of came full circle? Well, my friends, we have a Jeskai Spells deck. So it's been a while since we visited Jeskai. I really like this list. Uh, I think we got a great opportunity here within the meta. Uh, I believe it performs actually fairly well against things like Omnath, as well as a lot of the other things in Best of One and Best of Three. A little bit unique uh, in terms of, uh, it's not necessarily, I'd say, widely played at the moment, uh, but is definitely a contender within the space and with that said just a quick hats off to uh the player by the name of uh, K uh kutno uh apologies i probably butchered that uh but they have done a nice job and secured the spot at the end of last season with this deck finishing uh within the top 300 so congratulations uh for finding a way through the meta the euro ban and all that uh and sharing your deck list here with us today so planeswalkers quickly as always this deck list is available for you down below in the description you'll have access to it right away um so never fear we are going to go over it now we'll come back and talk about the jeskai in the current meta um, some key considerations and cards then we'll go into our sideboard talk about the best of three and then kind of how and why or what decisions we may make uh, in terms of those sideboard options so with that said let's go ahead here quickly scroll through these um, we will then like i said go back and cover some of these things and some of the key callouts to keep in mind from uh, Zendikar's Rising. Additionally, obviously, there's two shock styles here. You can uh, run all four of M21 or the uh, magic staple ones there. All right, so this deck looks slightly familiar, again, because it is a spells deck, um, and slightly familiar in the sense that it's fairly close to our is it spells deck um, we are primarily running as you can see uh, the red and blue is it colors but we are splashing for white to get access to this bad boy here uh bad direct apex of thunder so for those of you that are new to magic uh, a quick call out here jeskai is uh planes well actually in, if we want to go proper order here, islands, mountains, and plains uh, to give us the Jeskai, I believe it's guild uh, format here. Um, and then that gives us a lovely, a lovely splashing for this bad boy here. And then it is called a spells deck because the majority of what we're going to play are instant uh, spells as well as sorcery speed spells. So those are very important. Uh, and you can see that as we went through the, the cards there. So Splashing White gives us access to Rodan, Titan of Wind Fury. This is a special Godzilla card, but it's, uh, again, Vadrock Apex of Thunder. So what do we get with this? This is a legendary creature that's an elemental, but we get Flying First Strike, and then whenever we mutate, uh, we may cast Target Non-Creature card with Convert uh, converted mana costs three or less from our graveyard without paying for its cost. So, in fact, almost a more expensive Dread Horde, um, but a little bit more deadly Dread Horde uh, because, again, we have the Mutate. And ideally, if you look at what we got going on here, you're going to be popping it on this buddy here, Sprite Dragon or Dorat the Perfect Pet. Uh, as, as we also like to call them, uh, with a lot of access and a lot of things that we can do. So let's go ahead again and continue building here. We do have Spike Field Hazard, again, a, a modal card. This is very popular in terms of the amount of red burn decks, uh, but a very, very powerful card nonetheless. The benefit is instant speed cast, one damage, 
uh, to any target. So pretty important there. Additionally, the ability to tap into some additional land. So if we look at this here, we are running 19 lands. We got three more here from a modal. We got two more here from Shatter Skull, which Shatter Skull here is a very, very powerful card. Again, the ability to hit two targets uh, and split for X damage. But if X is six or more, uh, essentially we got uh, we double that up and we can do six damage. Uh, if we if we would like because it'd be three and three, but you double it and you're gonna be do be doing 12 So very important there And then the other modal land that we have to support is Seagate Restoration So we have a one of here a two of here uh, I really like this card. I think it's very powerful if you can get to seven uh, and have other cards uh, in your hand but uh, again, it's a long shot but it gives us an option and we love options as everyone knows uh, not necessarily four ofs and this is a perfect deck uh, for those options as i like to say um, quickly here we'll keep going down this path we have the staple i absolutely adore this card magmatic chandler uh, we know that again from the is it spells deck uh, that we did uh, the other day, so you guys can absolutely go check that one out. But Magmatic Chandler is a very, very awesome card. The ability to discard, exile two cards, we get to choose one, we get deck thinning, we get options, uh, and additionally we get a 4-4 creature uh, after there's enough cards in our graveyard. Um, see the Truth. So this is a pretty interesting one. Um, I haven't seen this ran a bunch. Uh, not that that's necessarily a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, but see the truth here. Uh, we get to look at the top three cards of our library. This is a sorcery spell. We get to put one of those cards in our hand and the rest uh, of the on the bottom of our library in any order. And then if this spell was cast from anywhere other than our hand, uh, put each of those cards into our hand instead. So I think where this is going to work out and, and the trigger, if I get that right, is going to be this one. So you're going to want to exile, you're going to hit see the truth, and then we're going to get all those cards into our hand. If I think that the mechanic works the way that it does, I, I'm going to guess that this is this is how it works. So hopefully we can trigger that today. Uh, additionally, we got Seagate Stormcrawler, or Caller. Uh, this card is pretty OP. I, I really like it. I think a lot of people miss it, um, and I, I believe that it's going to be pretty powerful and pretty impactful, uh, not necessarily out of the gate. I think it's going to take a little bit for people to kind of figure out how this one works, but when Seagate Stormcrawler enters the battlefield, we get a copy of the next instant or sorcery spell with converted mana cost two or less. So it's a great, great way to uh, double up. And then if it was kicked, we get to copy it twice. So particularly in this deck, and that would actually work really well in the Is It Spells deck too, um, doubling up on shocks, doubling up on cat crash throughs, doubling up on ops is gonna be very, very powerful. Um, and this isn't even a legendary card. So at three, the ability to hit for, <laughs> for four damage with the shock um, is gonna be pretty awesome. So. Very, very excited about this. We are only running two, um, but I, I think this card's gonna have a bigger impact, I believe, than people are actually anticipating right now. Um, so keep an eye out on this one. I think it's gonna be uh, ha have, a, have a place to stay. Um, next, we got Jace Mirror Mage. So Jace here, we can look uh, with our plus one, we can scry two, or we can remove a card. Excuse me, we can draw a card. Ooh, nope, not doing my one. Uh, oh, there we go. Draw a card. Let's see. Oh, man. Uh oh. I gotta go grab Jace. Apologies. Done. Cancel. Let's go back here. Oh, done. Okay. Oh, my friends. My friends, my friends, my friends. I apologize. Let's go to Jace here. So, we're gonna add our Jace back. Done. Apologies. Um, I was trying to scroll down, but it wasn't working. Uh, in terms of locking that up, but um, essentially, there we go. Essentially at zero, we get a draw card, reveal it, remove a number of loyalty counters equal to that card's converted mana cost uh, from your mage. So we can kick we can kick this bad boy here for two, we can create a copy, but its loyalty is one instead. So very, very powerful again. If we get to five, I like the one off, we got the Royal Scion still. Stormwing Entity is a must and a staple. Uh, and then we got our Shark Typhoons. So, again, 
very very low curve very very powerful deck does a lot of things really quickly we can pull back here with our splash for white um, and we're only getting that off our triumph land so it's pretty well sorry i take that back we also have pathway here which is pretty important for us uh to get to get what we need so very excited there uh very important uh and i'm looking forward to playing this deck so that is the main main board let's go ahead and talk about the sideboard here again because best of three is very important uh we have red cap melee so lots of options here if you can see so we're gonna, we're gonna spend a few minutes here so red cap melee four damage where are we gonna need this against any creature deck so mono green mono red uh mono mono white um additionally i would play it against um uh, potentially mirror match here because uh, you can hit a lot of things and then obviously the omnath decks you're going to want to run this so lots of good places where this one can be utilized um uh, additionally if you want rogues deck uh next we got confounding conundrum so this is our omnath hate deck card uh as well as uh any ramp or uh landfall type decks so this is our bounce and we get a draw when it enters so pretty important uh, to keep in mind and then obviously anyone running fetches uh, this could kind of, or fabled passages, of essentially a fetch. Um, that will kind of screw them up too. Next into the royal, so a, a great kicker, draw card, uh, as well as a return creature. Um, now, this is non land permit to its owner's hand, so we can kick it on ourselves. So if you're trying to dodge some things, this might not be a bad one uh, to play as well. So this would be good against rogue decks, dimmer decks, control decks, mirror match decks, mono red decks. Uh, those kinds of things. Next, we got Blitz of the Ra uh, Thunder Raptor. So this Ikoria card here uh, deals damage uh, to target creature Planeswalker equal to the number of instant or sorcery cards in our graveyard. If that creature Planeswalker dies this turn, we can exile it instead. So I like these exile cards uh, to avoid triggers. So this is helpful against uh, things like Annex. It's helpful against uh, the mono green deck that we just did the other day. So um you can hopefully well i guess if shambler's on you're not gonna be able to remove them and, and not hit the trigger so take that back um you're still targeting them um i would play this against any again anything that might have a trigger uh you can remove it off the board without necessarily that trigger dying so something on death kind of a thing you're just gonna end up exiling them Next, we got Thundering Rebuke. So this is perfect against creature-based decks. Again, Planeswalker decks. Big, big counter here for Omnath. Again, we have Red Cap, uh, but another one that you could consider. I would probably play this against Mono Green, uh, too. It's going to hit a lot of the Mono Green, uh, so keep that in mind. Mono Red, you're going to want to play this. Uh, we'll take a lot of those things off the board. All right, Tefiri Master of Time. So I like this card. It's good, in my opinion, in main board as well. If you know that you're going to play a cycle match or, or a longer match, I would probably work to get this one in your deck because it's going to be important uh, to kind of try and keep that, uh, you know, card smoothing, deck smoothing going in terms of options. I mean, obviously, we have a few things here like opt and see the truth, but always adding in something else is going to be very helpful. Next, we got Mythos of Vadrock. So what does this one do for us? So... First off, fits well in the Jeskai component here. Uh, we get a deal five damage divide as we choose among any number of target creatures and or planeswalkers. If planes and islands was also spent to cast a spell until your next turn, those permits can attack or block and their activated abilities cannot be activated. So this does a couple things. This gives us an opportunity to push through for lethal. It gives us an opportunity to shut our opponents down. Uh, lots of good things here. Uh, I'd play this against creature-based decks. I'd play this against planeswalker-based decks. Um, again, divided as you choose. So you could hit five targets. Yeah, you could hit one. You could do multiple things there. So a very, very good opportunity option card there for us. Next, we got Ox of Agonis. So I really like this card. Again, this can be a good main board one. Uh, additionally, it's great against things like Dimir Rogues, especially if you're getting milled. Uh, you're going to want to play this because it gives us access to our gives us access to our graveyard. So pulling this back in for two, making it a nice big uh, escape. So with a plus one plus one counter on it, a five three creature. Uh, even though we are exiling eight cards, it doesn't only cost us two. 
um, and we get to draw three cards. So pretty, pretty important there. Um, I like this one. It's good against creature-based decks. Again, it's good against long, long game decks. I would maybe play this against things like Omnath or other things that might take a while. Um, Mirror Match, this one would also be important in my opinion and also against control decks. You, and we already covered the rogues piece there too. Lastly, we got Shark Typhoon. Um, I like this in terms, again, of those cantrips. Uh, additionally, the ability to make a creature that they may not seem coming. Flying, a good a good finisher or closer. Um, I would absolutely play this against any flying type decks. Uh, this is going to be useful against the dimmer decks. Um, it's also going to be great from an evasion standpoint against things like mono red at times. Um, so those are some considerations. Uh, that you could make and then obviously because we got a lot of casting going on um, if you do get to six you're gonna get a lot of flying sharks so that's something else that you can keep in mind all right Whew. big big mouthful lots of things because we got a pretty robust sideboard so hopefully that helped uh, again, very situational. This, again, because it's a spells deck, I would break it into a couple things. One, I'd break it into either creature heavy or aggro, and then late game Omnath. And uh, I would sideboard uh, specifically around those things. So when I look at this, I look at um, really, honestly, this front half here of being that, uh, that Omnath late game type deck. Uh, a little bit with some splashing here of a few of these things. Um, and then again, from an aggro side, some more of the direct damage pieces that we have here. Uh, maybe even Ox of Agonis for late game uh, to help us kind of overcome those. And then the way I look at it and the way that I would uh, kind of approach things is if they're not creature heavy based decks uh, or have a lot of two drops, I drop my shocks, put something else in like Red Cat Melee or Thundering Rebuke because they're bigger damage they do cost more but that's that's kind of a consideration that i would do there additionally we're running 19 lands plus the lands here the modals we got 23 um 24 which is good you guys know me uh that's where i like to stick um and we do we do absolutely need to keep these so i would actually say that i would i would at most at most maybe cut one spike field um maybe two modal lands but that's that's as close as i would get because we do have six uh so 25 lands sorry i would run 23 maybe at max um and again you're going to be switching in for things that either damage wise or late game are going to make the play and then one that i always like you know the trample's good the cantrip's good but this is one that i i'm happy to remove too because it's at sorcerer speed not instant speed um and again if we're not getting the synergy here that's a big play um you may not want to run see the truth i still like Mag uh, magmatic chandler just again for some of those other opportunities i think i would keep stormgate caller um but again you're going to want to be very specific here um on on some of those things and then lastly if you do copy so again another option here maybe is when we do this this is another way to double up on see the truth so we got two options here between a discard and seagate uh storm color here i would not so my recommendation would not be to focus uh, in this space. If I were to cut, I would maybe cut one Vadrock uh, Apex of Thunder. Um, I would I would definitely keep two. You're going to want that ability to pull back from your graveyard. So again, Planeswalkers, that's kind of how I look at it. We talked about the deck. We talked about cyborging uh, thoughts and strategy and synergies, um, what Just Guy Spells actually was for those of you that are new. So with that said, let's go ahead and hop into our best of one matches, and then we're going to go into best of three. All right, Planeswalkers, let's do it. And again, oop, we'll save and exit. And again, uh, I am playing ranked. I'm in platinum. And then obviously there's our mono green deck. Absolutely go check that out. That was a really, really nasty deck that performs very well. I'm going to move my face back up there. And let's go ahead and play our top 300 uh, deck here by our friend uh, Coutinho. Um, again, apologies on that if I butchered it. Lastly, 
as always, before we get to our match here, uh, like I said, platinum with the reset, uh, just want to say thank you as always. I appreciate your support. I truly do. Uh, please feel free to subscribe to the channel down over there, whether it's your first or hundredth time um, watching uh, and visiting. I uh, just want to say thank you. And then if you like the video, please like it. Additionally, you can like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, Twitch, stay up to date. All right, let's go ahead and see what we got going on. We got a lot of good options. We go first. We are playing a Yorian Sky Nomad deck. So this is going to be interesting. So this is probably a control deck, uh, probably Azorus. The other option is maybe Esper or Doom, uh, so Orzov control. Uh, so we'll, we'll take that into account um, right now. We do have everything that we need. We get to go first. We will keep this and go from there. We'll keep that. I want the white there. That will give us all three. There we go, there's another one, so we can save that. There's our Orzov. So, this could be Esper, so let's see what they got going on. Oh, my friend, my friend. You make me so sad. I'm actually gonna do some damage because I don't I don't feel like it's in one of those decks, so we're gonna look. Um, I will keep that. I don't really want the land. Again, still Orzov. I don't care too much for Charming Prince at this point. So we will pull. off. We'll keep that. And we will play that because we'll want to mutate. Now this will be a big risk. Jace takes two to kick, so we're absolutely going to hit Jace now. So you go one up on this one first. You don't need either of those. And then we go here. And again, I don't think we need... I'm going to pull this... Uh, we have one, so let's get rid of that. So that's how it works. You use the mirror uh, to dig, and then if you need to pull, you use the other Jace, and then you'll you'll pay for it. So still sitting on Orzov back here. So we're waiting for that Doom foretold. Very nice. Very nice. Let's look. I have a lot to think about. So here's see the truth. We're gonna grab that one. So we got some options here. 
Ooh, glass casket. Well played, well played. So they're not gonna kill our Jace, which is important. Why would you do that? One, two, three, four, five, six. We're short one. What a refreshing thought. Do that. So we can get Seagate Restoration if we want. Um, let's keep things interesting. Don't want to draw a card and discard. There you go. There is no virtue without bravery. <laughs> I'm doing this again. I'm worried about doom. We gotta get something on the board here. Nice little loop. We are now in trouble. Absolutely. <laughs> so we will play this and see what we can do. There we go. So good news is we saw a couple of the mechanics from the deck. We got Seagate Restoration down. But we got stuck against an opponent who's got a very nice loop uh, and actually had lethal. And now they don't. Discard. Here we go, and here we go. And we don't have a chance. Unfortunately, you know what could be good in this deck in terms of sideboard would be some counter cards. Um, but happy to see a Orzov deck here uh, in Platinum. I uh, have not seen one in a while, so I, I think that this is something doable, and I do and am a big fan of, <coughs> excuse me, uh, the Esper decks.
there's our friend Doom Foretold. Alright, and we'll block that way because we're not going to survive. And go from there. Alright, on to our next match. So not the best first match there. Um, a not good, timely uh, <laughs> trade up there. Alright, on to our second match here. With our top 300 Jess Guide deck. Didn't quite move fast enough. Didn't hit. We did get to see a lot of mechanics. So, very happy about that. Especially in the best of one realm. Not much we could do against that, that loop there. Alright, so we are in trouble. We do have opt. Um, we have a few things. I may try it. Not the best in terms of land. There we go. We got through. We got a white. Let's do this. Let's see what we can trigger. We got another blue. Hmm. It's a risk. I'll take the risk. Oh, we got another one anyway. All right, so we got Teamer. So if we can pull it off, I want to try and get to see the truth with the Seagate here. Still in it. So Omnath is coming. Definitely coming here. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this. We're gonna play Stormcaller. So uh, when Seagate Stormcaller enters the battlefield, copy next target instant sorcery speed spell. Uh, two or less, and then uh, cast uh, you cast this turn. Uh, if it was cocky, copy to kick it again, or do it again. So let's do that. Um, there we go. There we go. So here's the copy. We get to choose one. Well, it didn't work the way that I was hoping it would work, so... That is a bummer. But we gotta gain two cards. So the better copy now would have been. Oh, we don't get any burn there. Now we have burn. Um, I would like to get that on the board too. go. Magmatic Chandler might have been the better play, uh, but we'll see. We got a lot of life gain that we're fighting here. And now a lot of mana ramp with Omnath. Good news is we do have a lot of creatures, but that's only going to get us far 
if if we can get some spells. And that definitely hurt. So I think that means they don't know the deck, um, or they do because they hurt Magmatic Chandler, but i th not as worried about that to be honest, uh, because we should be able to get there quick. So we're not sitting in a great position again, but we'll see if we can overcome the on that deck.
We lived. And now we're not gonna live. Uh, maybe. Is oh, the pain, the pain, the pain. Not our game today in best of one. We'll just block there. So, struggling a little bit there in the best of one. So let's go ahead and jump into best of three and see how that goes with our top 300 Jeskai deck here. I'm thinking it's going to be stronger in, in best of three, to be honest. Uh, standard ranked. There we go. All right, Planeswalkers, as always, hopefully you're enjoying the, the, uh, the matches, the commentary, and the, the uh, upfront strategy. Please feel free to support the channel down over there. Always appreciate it. Additionally, if you like the video, please like it. You can also like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Twitch. All right, we got crazy time. So we are not we are not on the play. We're on the draw. Uh, what do we have for options here? We got a few. So I'm gonna go with it, and we'll go from there. Keep it. Uh oh. Got a mill deck. Cobra. It's going to be Omnath. Absolutely. Could have played one of those. Uh, could be considered a misplay there. <laughs> Oh man. So this is where we're gonna to wanna to play the ox. So I'm gonna do this. We want to get damage in fast. And Jace, I'll wait on because I'll kick. Oh, painful! So painful. Look at that. So painful. They're gonna mill me here. Ooh, they didn't mill me. So that is very nice. Is the greatest virtue. The courage of your power for the realm.
Looking good. Looking good. We'll see. There we go. <laughs> Worked out against the Omnath deck. So, with that said, uh, we are going to need to do a few things here. Um, we're going to need this. I like this. I run these. I would also run these. These and Ox. What am I going to drop? What am I going to drop? I'm going to drop Crash Through. Um, spikes, okay. I'm going to drop one of those. Um, we need to get rid of seven here. I still like Shark Typhoon. I like Stormwing. we got to go over the top. I like these. We'll drop one of those. Um, see the truth I'm going to drop. It gives us with three left. Um, preference, I'm going to drop two of the shocks, too. Some more bigger damage to remove some of the creatures. Uh, control on the lands. And we'll go from there. I like that. Could go another Shark Typhoon, though. Hmm. I'm gonna drop one of those and go Shark Typhoon. There we go, I like that. All right, my friends, can we take down the Omnath Nullish deck here? Um, four of us to three. Again, not the best, uh, best of one, Orzov and Omnath matchups. Couldn't make it happen, but our last match was nice. Uh, this is not a good start, but I might try it, because I do have ops. And I like Stormwing. If we can just tee up a good turn two here, and which means one land. I'll be happy. We will take that. So right now, uh, we won't, we already have our source there. Question is, do we take the red cap? We already have one. Um, so I don't think so. I'm trying to find the conundrum. And we got plenty of damage here. That's a pretty Omnath. Pretty, pretty Omnath. Um, we will say bye-bye. See you again. So what I was looking for here, we got. Need another land so I could double up on this. Um, we are going to play Stormcrawler.
There we go. And we still have enough to still cast here. So the smart play is double fabled here. Ooh. I would have waited. I wonder what they're doing then. That wasn't worth it. That was not worth it. I would have waited one turn there. Um, we're gonna do Jace. We can't kick him. Maybe, maybe they have a counter. Oh, there it is. Let's go to Spirit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good for them. Got plenty of blowout cards on creatures. Right now, if they cannot remove Stormwing, we will most likely have lethal, uh, unless they play an Omnath and can gain some life. All right. We, my friends, are in the clear. Makes up for a best of one match. They can obviously crack that. Uh, that's not really fun. Boom, there we go. We took home the best of three match, where I think this deck does excel a little bit better. Uh, so very, very exciting. Good match against Omnath there. We played, this, the, the deck played a lot better. It felt a lot more smooth. And then additionally, obviously, the sideboarding helped us as well. And we clinched it in a 2-0 fashion, which is which is always nice. So let's go ahead here and take a look with our top 300 Jeskai Spells deck, again by uh, Coutinho. So apologies, as always, if I butchered that. Um, so here we go. Let's take a quick look here. Again, list is available for you down below in description uh, if you uh, would like to access and play it right away. And then again, as always, we talked about it's just guy because plains, or sorry, islands, mountains, plains, we're splashing for this bad boy here, and then spells because the majority of the deck is spell based. All right, plains walkers. Good day today. We lost in the best of one, but we did great in the best of three. So I'll call, I'll call that a nice split. Um, additionally, because technically we won, we won two in the best of three and lost two in the best of one. Um, again, as always, just want to say thank you for your support. I truly appreciate it. Uh, please feel free to subscribe to the channel down over there. Additionally, like the video if you liked it. You can like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch to stay up to date on content like this. All right, Planeswalkers. You stay safe. Mithras out. Until next time, we will see you again soon. Take care.